What's good YouTube, it's Justice I used to be paying today I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going a little off schedule. I had another video planned instead of this one, but when I saw this tweet by DJ Vlad, I just had to talk about it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about DJ Vlad's tweet about Drake and DJ Khaled and why I think it's a horrible take. And real quick, make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe, it helps me out a ton. Also check me out on the other socials. I'm actually pretty active on Twitch again now, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. Go follow my Twitch, go turn on the notifications for when I go live. So recently, DJ Vlad tweeted out an MLA essay on his account, and he said, has anyone noticed that the most famous Jewish person on earth, Drake, and the most famous Palestinian person on earth, DJ Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza-Israel conflict? It's not like Drake is too busy. He's been writing paragraphs about Joe Budden hurting his feelings about his new album. DJ Khaled has been working overtime promoting his new Jordan sneakers. But both of them have been silent on this topic. Why is that? It's because both are so thirsty to maintain relevance that they wouldn't dare risk insulting a segment of their fan base. Heaven forbid Drake or that Drake might debut at number two behind Taylor Swift because some of his Palestinian fans chose not to stream his album. And it would be the end of the world if Khaled sold a few less sneakers because some Jewish people decided not to buy his Jordans. That's the difference between artists of today and timeless legends like Tupac. You know damn well Pac would be the first one to speak about something so close to home. And here are the facts for anyone saying Drake isn't Jewish, his mom is Jewish, by, and which by Jewish law makes him Jewish. But beyond that, his parents divorced at five, blah, 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 blah. He had a bar mitzvah. Uh, which, you know, is the Jewish ceremony where you become a man. And Drake also had no problem dissing Kanye in multiple songs, but remained silent when Kanye went on his mustache man rants. Drake put a green light on Andrew Tate. I don't know. All right, he's not speaking about anything. But So that was his take, right? Why have DJ Khaled and Drake not said anything about the Israel and Palestinian conflict that's going on, the, the, the essentially war at this point? Why have they not said anything? What, like, what's going on? And the reason why I think this is a bad take is because they don't have to. <laughs> Just in general, they don't have to say anything about it. They don't have to give their opinion on it. They don't have to speak on it. Because for one, I highly doubt, I highly, highly doubt they have anything in general that's intelligent to say, right? I, I don't think they're, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's a stretch to say that both of them probably aren't that educated on the situation. Just... I mean, maybe that's a reach, but I doubt that. So for one, they just don't need to say anything in general. That's just the case. If they're not a politician or a government official, nobody needs to give their opinion on the situation. You don't have to. And for two, neither of them have ever been popular for their social commentary. That's not a thing with Drake. It's not a thing with DJ Khaled, and it never has been. And for three, this is part of the discussion of culture specifically black culture most of the time but when we're when we're like why are our only representatives rappers athletes actors sometimes why are our only representatives these guys why is the the leader of the community a rapper why, why can't it be somebody else why do we have to look at these people why do our kids only want to be rappers and that's also part of the discussion as well because again drake while being jewish yes his mother's jewish He's not, he's not a politician. This is not, it's never been his role. It's never been something he's done. He's never ran for office. He's never spoken on politics, period. Drake has been the most apolitical person you could ever be in terms of like the public light. And you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with that. Not every single celebrity has to be politically woke. Not every single celebrity has to give their thoughts on the situation. I don't need that from Drake, and I don't want that from Drake. Drake is not a political figure in any sense or, or, or form, right? Now, would it be a good thing if they spoke on the conflict? Maybe. Maybe they could say something that's pretty intelligent, or maybe them just giving their support in general. Maybe that could be a positive thing. I'm not saying it's wrong to think that, but to think that Drake and Khaled should or that they have to say anything is where I'm like, bro, I, I just completely disagree. They don't have to say anything because that's not their role. Also, look at Drake, right? Drake is half Jewish, but he's also half African-American, right? His dad is from the United States. He's African-American, even though Drake's from Canada. He is ethnically African-American, right? When the George Floyd stuff happened, when the, all that stuff broke out, I didn't immediately run to Drake's Twitter and go, oh my God, what does Drake think of this situation? 
Because I don't care what Drake thinks of the situation. Drake is not an important political figure. His, his, his politics do not matter to me whatsoever. And the same can be said for DJ Khaled. I don't care what Khaled has to say about the situation. Now, would it be great if Khaled was like, yeah, back the people of Palestine, whatever. If that, that's cool. That would be fantastic. But he doesn't have to do that because that's never been his role. Now, let's say hypothetically that this was Kendrick Lamar who had a Jewish mother. Maybe I could at least understand why you'd be like, why isn't Kendrick speaking on this? You know, Kendrick speaks about social commentary all the time. Like, that's a big part of his music. Why isn't he talking about this? If it was Kendrick, I would understand. Drake and his music, and DJ Khaled as well, has literally zero social commentary in it. None. There is no, bring me one socially conscious song that Drake has ever made. One. One socially conscious bar. That's not his style. And again, that's perfectly fine. Not everybody has to do that. We shouldn't be looking at Drake and DJ Khaled to say something. Because even though their support would be pretty cool, I guess, what does it really do? It, like in the in the big grand scheme of things, what does Drake sending out a tweet about Israel do? What does DJ Khaled sending out a tweet about Palestine do? Like for real, like let's be honest, what does it do? The answer is nothing. It's not like they're bringing aware, awareness to the situation. It's one of the hottest topics in the, on the globe. It's not like they're going to bring anything super intelligent, super nuanced. So yeah, it would be nice of them to, to speak on it, but it doesn't really provide anything worth of value anyway. And this is also a major issue with hip hop culture and a portion of black culture as well. When we look to people who, who have no business speaking on this stuff to speak on this stuff, we look to Drake. Why, why would I look to Drake to speak on politics? That makes no sense. But it's a thing that we do. We look at rappers. We look at athletes. We look at LeBron like, oh, my God, why isn't LeBron speaking? LeBron dribbles a ball for a living. Shout out to LeBron, one of the GOATs. But I don't care what his polit politics are. I don't care. I really could not care less. I mean, like, yeah, sure, it'd be great if we agreed politically, but he's a basketball player. He's not a politician. He's not somebody running for social office. He's not a, 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 an activist, a real activist. I mean, sure, he does activist stuff with the Black Lives Matter, but he's not like a real activist in the streets trying to change stuff. Because that's not his role, and that's fine, and we need to come to an understanding as not, not just black community, but a society as a whole that, hey, these people are our leaders. I shouldn't look at Lil Wayne for, for political support. I shouldn't look at Michael Jordan for political support. They, like, that makes no sense. Now, if it was just a major part of who they were as a person in terms of Drake being a major part of the community and social change and social movement and Drake's out there marching with the people and he's got albums dedicated to... If that was the case and he wasn't speaking on his own people suffering or his own people having their own conflict... Okay, then we could have questions. But that's not Drake, and that's definitely, definitely not DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled's literally one of the top five most unserious people on the planet. Call me asparagus. And I don't mean that with disrespect. I'm just saying in general. So we don't need to look at people who are apolitical for political takes when that's never been their role. Nobody in general has to speak on politics if they don't have anything useful to say and if they don't want to. Would it be nice to know every single person on earth's politics and how they truly felt about situations? Of course, but that's just not the world we live in. We don't need that. And we need, we need to stop looking at these celebrities for political leadership. We need to stop doing that. We need to stop looking at them for some sort of support when it comes to stuff that they're just not involved in and never have been. And also, DJ Vlad brings up Pac. And you know what? That's an interesting point. Tupac would have spoke about this. If Tupac was Jewish or if Tupac was Palestinian, I'm sure he would have spoke about the situation. You're not wrong, because Tupac had that social commentary in his music. But that's not Drake. And also, it's not the difference between older and younger artists, because not every artist back in the day was like Pac speaking on social commentary. Was Snoop Dogg a socially conscious dude back in 1995? No, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. He might have rapped about the police, but that's, that's about as far as it went. That's about as far as it went. So it's not like every single rapper from the 90s was socially con uh, conscious and speaking on their situations and speaking. It's not how, no, it's not true. So to expect Drake to speak on stuff, it's just really goofy, especially, especially when eight times out of 10, he's probably not going to say anything worth a damn. Let's be real. It's probably going to be super surface level or it's going to be super wrong or it might even just be dumb in general. So I don't need Drake to put his neck out there 
to speak on something that he probably does, doesn't know a lot about and he's never spoken on anything like it in the past. And you know what's even funny about this? I spoke on Drake and the Kanye situation like a year ago. I made a video saying, we don't need Drake's commentary on Ye speaking about, you know, the mustache man and stuff. We've never needed that because again, that's not his role and that's never been his role and we should stop looking at these celebrities to play a role that they're not comfortable playing and that they've never done before. This is literally the Dave Chappelle J Ja Rule joke in real time. Stop worshiping celebrities so much. Just don't listen, pay attention. I remember right around September 11th, uh, Ja Rule was on MTV. That's what they said. They said, we got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Ja's thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a fuck what Ja Rule thinks at a time like this, nigga? This is like, it's literally in real time. You think I really sit down, see the news, and go, oh my God, the stuff in Palestine and Israel, this is crazy. What does Drake think about this? No, no, I don't give a damn what Drake thinks about this because Jake probably doesn't think about it. Let's just be honest. So I think Vlad is, is greatly, greatly misled when it comes to this tweet. Would it be nice if they spoke on it? Yes, but do they have to? Absolutely not. Should they? Probably not. And we definitely, even if they should hypothetically speak on it, we definitely shouldn't be looking for it. We definitely shouldn't be looking at Drake and DJ Khaled for political commentary, bro, like that's just, no, no. We need to look at some political leaders, some activists, some people who have presented themselves online as political commentary specialists. We can look for those guys to speak on it, but Drake and DJ Khaled, bring out the whole ocean. Do you wanna go golfing? Have you ever played rugby? We're really looking at that guy for his commentary on the, the Palestinian and, and Israel issues? Like, it's just weird doesn't make sense and it makes us a little all i think it makes us all a little dumber just in general if we're looking at those guys for some sort of political commentary but that's just my opinion maybe i'm wrong maybe drake needs to give a gettysburg address when it comes to the israel palestine conflict and maybe dj Khaled needs to do the same i don't know maybe i'm wrong i just think we shouldn't be looking at these celebrities especially these two who have literally never given social commentary ever in their life for political commentary. We just shouldn't do that. Maybe if this was Kendrick or this was J. Cole and they had a connection to the situation, okay, I'll give you that. But Drake and Khaled, come on now. But that's the end of my video. Make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Peace.